Hey, everyone. Welcome back to the Golden Image Music Channel. I'm Todd, and today I have a special guest. It's Reggie. Thanks, Todd, for having me on. Sure, man. Yeah, I'm glad to have you because on this episode, I've invited you for a great topic that I think anyone who loves good, soulful music, but also likes to rock out, will enjoy. Yep, that's right. We're going to be talking about R&B music for those who love rock and rock music for those who love R&B. That's it. And Reggie and I will get into how these genres influence each other and we'll break out a couple of our favorites. All right, so let's start today's show with some R&B music that rock fans might enjoy. Reggie, what have you picked? Well, I picked uh, Stevie Wonder's Master piece of an album called songs in the key of life very popular tons of youtube videos out there on the breakdown of this great album especially for songs like sir do this is a go-to album for those people right on yeah you know stevie wonder used a lot of synthesizers and complex arrangements and it kind of uh, i don't know paved the way for a lot of the rock musicians in the mid to early 70s and even going into the 80s Yes, yeah, Stevie's collaboration with rock artists just shows his versatility across all uh, music genres. Yeah, and not to mention the fact, now think about this, in his career, he topped the Billboard charts under R&B, dance, adult, contemporary, hip-hop, and of course, rock. So, Todd, what about rock music for those people who love R&B? What do you yeah, got? I have Led Zeppelin IV. You know, undeniably, this is a rock album, but like tracks on here, like When the Levee Breaks and even Black Dog. Look, it's heavy, but mm. I got to tell you, there's a lot of R&B uh, and blues influences on this album. Led Zeppelin's deep roots in the blues and R&B makes them just a great performance on stage to watch. Uh, everyone that loves R&B definitely knows Led Zeppelin and some of their top hits. They frequently covered a lot of the blues and R&B songs. And if you remember, Reggie, they were actually accused a few times of actually stealing some yeah. of, so the, of the blues songs. So, Very true. Um, yeah. And, you know, throughout the entire time, they really worked hard to, I guess, soulfully improvise what mm -hmm. they were doing during their live shows. You know, Reggie, it's fascinating to see how these genres actually influence each other. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about, Todd, and especially... When I think about this topic, I think about this guy right here, Prince, yeah. and this album, and Wonderful Movie. It's such a rich blend of rock and R&B that you can't help but enjoy this album. His guitar solos were always amazing. I loved his Saturday Night Live performances. Those were the best. Especially an old video I saw uh, once when Michael Jackson brought him on stage to play with James Brown. It was an amazing right. video. Yeah, they, hey, there's some R&B. That's like R&B across the board. But I'll exactly, you, it definitely had a rock influence to it yep. as well. How about I've got one for you here, and I just happened to pick this out before the show. Oh, it's Bad to the Bone, classic. George Thorogood, The Destroyers. Mm -hmm. It's a great Ooh. example of how rock yeah. influenced, you know, this whole entire album has some really good, you know, both blues, R&B, and certainly rock influences. It's totally an awesome record. And that track, Bad at the Bone, ends with that classic blues riff that everybody knows and loves. So definitely a great pick, Todd. Definitely, yeah. for sure, a great pick. These cross-pollination of genres, they can lead to some pretty amazing music. It, uh, it kind of breaks down barriers, you know, and there are yeah. barriers these days. But yeah. there should never be barriers in music. We've got, you know, no. good R&B. We've got rock. And I mean, and there's lots of others. Music's nothing but love, buddy. Nothing but love. That's right. So what are your favorite R&B tracks with rock influence, Todd? I would have to say, Reggie, anything by Earth, Wind & Fire. Um, especially Shining Star. Great tune. Yep. Definitely rocks, but it's definitely got that R&B rhythm and uh, and soul in it. And, in, and you know, as in one of our previous videos, uh, Bad Movies with great soundtracks we highlighted uh sergeant pepper's lonely hearts called band the movie and it was horrible but i will say that earth wind and fire did got to get you into my life and it was fantastic so yeah i'm all about uh earth wind and fire yep definitely a, a grooving band great pick and i think for me uh i have to go back with prince 
from the album, you know, Purple Rain with that classic song, Let's Go Crazy, and okay. the, the guitars, and then once again, a funky blues riff at the end to, to finish off the song. It, as an honorable mention, I'll have to do this guy right here, Buddy Miles, them changes. Right Definitely uh, rock drum influence with some great R&B tones under it. Yeah, I totally agree. You know, Buddy Miles played with Jimi Hendrix and, um, you know, he did a wonderful job and he did Them Changes, I believe, on the Band of Gypsies album. Oh, yes. With Jimi yep. Hendrix, yeah, and and sang it too. So part of the Band of Gypsies, great drummer and fantastic mm-hmm. music and certainly has a definitely a rock edge, uh, <laughs> if anything. Well, Reggie, we've just scratched the surface on how these genres blend and influence each other. Now, some other rockers that come to mind are like the Rolling Stones or uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan, certainly uh, Bruce Springsteen. I mean, they're rockers, but definitely have some deep R&B influences. Yeah, and from the R&B side, I can think of Bill Withers, Aretha Franklin, and uh, Marvin Gaye. Come on, let's get it on. Let's get it on. Yeah. Absolutely. Lou Rawls, too. I mean, Lou Rawls it could go either way, too. I loved Lou Rawls. Definitely. Well, in keeping with the tradition, Reggie, just like Larry and I would do, what are you listening to this week? Mm. Today, to go with this topic, I have this great album by RJD2. Um, it, it's just a blend of R&B, rock, and even jazz. So if you really love those elements together, this is the album to get. And to just go out and take a listen. There's plenty of free listens out there for you to check out this album yeah and where'd you pick that up reggie uh, rjd2 has a great website you can visit and he has also has a, a band camp just go out there google them you're easy to find and if you don't know the name maybe you know great tracks like the theme song from mad men oh okay all right no, that, that we can get our head around, right? That's perfect. I see it sound like a turquoise vinyl, too. So that oh, yeah. Yeah. Very uh, cool. Uh, um, and this week, let me dig for it a second here. Oh, yeah. No problem. Go for it. Here we go. Elton oh, John. Elton John, Elton John. Yeah. 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 This has got uh, Honky Cat on it. You know, speaking of R&B and rock uh, crossovers, this has definitely got it. Um, it's a man. Absolutely. Rocket Man. Um, Hercules. Classic. Cat yeah. name Hercules. Love that. Um, yeah. This whole entire Salvation. This is a really, really super album. Uh, you know, this is one of the albums I listened to when I was young. When I was a kid, I had it on 8-track. I think it was the mm-hmm. only 8-track that was in the uh, the camper part of the truck. So when I <laughs> when I was in there, all yeah. I did was listen to the same 8-track. Um, but yeah, uh, Elton John, Honky Chateau, check it out. It's got, uh, it's both a good R and B and rock. It's about that time that you drop in the comments, some of your favorite R and B tracks or rock tracks that could influence people to listen to them. Yeah. And then, yeah, just find out uh, just some track that helps bridge that gap. And then don't forget to hit the like, the subscribe and that notification bell to keep up with great episodes like this on this wonderful channel. That's right. And we'll take some of your comments and we'll use those in future videos so that we can pull in your ideas and thoughts and then we can share those with others as well. So I think it's I think it's really good. So I tell you what, if you love R&B, now you know where to check out some rock. And if you like rock, you know where to check out some great R&B. Right on. <laughs>